Dyson Pizza contains descriptions of peril, natural disasters, and kaiju. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Hello, Wayward listeners. Welcome back to Dyson Pizza, a quest show that follows a ragtag band of heroes who are chasing after Tang Kai, an ancient dragon god bent on burning down the world of Myrios. My name is Derek, the pronouns are he, him, and I will be the guide for our lovable band of heroes. Hello, I'm Maya Worrell, they, them pronouns, please, and I play Zaba, the party's naturalist. He is the mass guardian of Kokuru Village, chosen by birth uh, by Bannon, self-proclaimed releaser of Tankai, currently not having a very good time. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. Hello, demons and angels and harpies and harpoons. My name is Justin, he, him pronouns. I'll be playing Driftwood, they, them pronouns. Driftwood currently doesn't have access to their hands right now. Will they? Uh, yes, uh, maybe. Who will be cooking tonight? We don't know. Will we starve? Probably. <laughs> um, but if we don't, Driftwood probably helps. Hello, hello. Uh, my name is Kyla. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. I play Ernaeus, or Ernie for short, a skilled spy having some difficulties in their career path of choice. They also, to, to close up one plot hole from last episode, do not have the sword in the back anymore, or a dagger. Um, they do have an injury, and they do have a sword, and they are ready to kill. Um, oh, wow. The K word, killing for Zaba. That sounds like a band. But, okay. Yes. <laughs> Or for Baza. Baza for, for Zaba. Baza for Zaba. Baza for Zaba. <laughs> uh, once again, everybody, we are playing the game Quest. It's a rules light system that focuses on storytelling and world building, and it's by the Adventure Guild. Everything we will roll today will be with a D20. Last time on Dyson Pizza, uh, our party ran away, <laughs> and uh, Driftwood ended up on the other side of the lake. Zaba got struck by a fireball mid-flight, and Ernie raced towards the city of Edesis to rescue their friend Sidon. After much debate, Zaba and Driftwood decided to swim back across the lake to put on guard uniforms to sneak into Edesis. However, they were caught and captured while Ernie infiltrated their way stealthily in to the city of Edesis and found Sidon. And where things kind of left off were pretty dire. Driftwood broke their hands, um, and Zaba is captured. And today, we're going to see what our heroes do. So, Zaba, go ahead and roll me a d20. Uh, Ooh, first roll of the episode. First roll. Horrible. First roll. Horrible, horrible. Yeah, right off the, right, right out of the Shout game. out to Monica for the dice I'm using today. Shout out, Monica. Shout out, Monica. <sighs> Shout out, Monica. Oh, no. This was a good roll. It's definitely a very, very good roll. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely, oh, a <laughs> it's definitely a that's twenty. Definitely twenty. Success. That's a twenty right there. <laughs> Not one. Uh, First roll of the episode. Everyone's starting off great. Christ. Thank, thanks, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Zaba. The last thing you remember was being taken away, and when you awoke. You are now on top of a flat mountain. You don't know why you're here. You don't know where you are. You look down around and you see nothing but clouds. There is no ground here. Uh, To the west is the setting sun, perpetually at golden hour. And across the way on this mountain is a man, a tall man wearing full plate mail that is gold. As he turns to face you and you stare into his piercing blue eyes, you realize that even though he's not a dragon, you know that this man is the mortal form of Tang Kai. What do you do, Zaba? How, how far apart are we? A hundred feet. Okay. Has, has Tang Kai noticed me? Yes. Tang Kai okay. has noticed you. Just we're, just we're just staring at each other. Yes. You're just staring at each other. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, um... Can I test like my magic out a little bit? Sure. Um, I just want to do a quick like um, a quick freeze, the one that that doesn't cost any AP. Nothing happens. Mm. <laughs> I look behind. <laughs> I look behind me. <laughs> this is nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So sure. well, well, yeah. So it's it's nothing, but you do see that you are on top of a mountain that stretches high above the land. Um. Well, I guess I'll walk up to Tang Kai. Just. 
we're just not breaking eye contact after I turned around to look at the other <laughs> side of the mountain. Tenkai smiles as you approach. Hmm. And he gestures and some of the clouds wisp up and form two chairs and a table with tea. One, like two cups and a little tea pot that is slowly brewing uh, on this on this table that is that he's conjured. Well. And he gestures for you to sit. I want you to play chess with Tenkai. <laughs> I don't want to play chess with Tenkai. You, you come chess- into the, come chess- you come into the stream and play chess with Tenkai. D- driftwood, figment of driftwood floating by. I play chess. Um, <laughs> I Zaba does not sit down. D- does Tenkai sit down? Tenkai sits down, and he pours himself a cup of tea. What does the tea smell like? It's a black tea. It has hints of Earl Grey, but no lavender. Or is Earl Grey made of lavender? I don't know. No, Earl Grey uh, doesn't have lavender in it. Okay. Um, Moving on to the last statement. <laughs> We're going to talk about that later. You can have Earl Grey, yeah. la- lavender, Earl Grey. Um, yeah, it's an Earl Grey without lavender. That's what it smells like. It's You haven't quite had tea like this. You've had a lot of like, I think like green teas and a lot of like, like lighter, yeah. less, like more caffeinated black teas, but not more. like kind of tea like that. I also imagine more herbal teas as well. Yeah, um, you've had a lot more barley and wheat and corn teas than you've had like these kinds of teas. Okay, so just just imagine this visual: Tankai sitting down, pouring tea. Zaba like like right next, like kind of like standing right next, just staring down. Like, all right. So, are you are you Tankai, or is this some is this a dream? It's not a dream, Zaba. I guess at some point in your quest to track me down, when you were flying, you must have come in contact with my scales. My scales are laced with a, well, a certain poison of sorts that allows me to find a a suitable mortal vessel. Uh, And that's why we're here, to have a conversation to to discuss the terms of your surrender. Um, I turn around and start walking. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why? Because where we are is not in your mind or even my mind. My scales are laced with spirit poison. We are in the spirit world right now. And if you get lost, you might not be able to find your way back. And who knows what might happen to your consciousness if it is not being occupied by your soul right now. Am I allowed to, to reach out to Bannon? Ooh, roll me a d20. <laughs> it's a one. <laughs> mm, it's not going to do it. It's right by the 20. It's like right by the 20. It's an eight. All right. So with an eight, that's a tough choice. You manage to feel the presence of Bannon and you can call out to Bannon. But if you do, this is your tough choice. You can either spend 12 adventure points to succeed or Tankai will know, and you'll most likely enter into a combat with Tankai. <laughs> you get a sense that doing this would most definitely upset Tankai. Tankai's like, what the fuck are you doing? And starts punching. <laughs> um, okay, I will, I will pay 12. That feels, yeah, that feels fair, 12. Okay. Um, so I'm at six um, adventure points right now. How do you call out to Bannon? So I could, I could do it like either like like, kind of like telepathically. Yeah. I think I would, I would be calling out with like with also like the image of my mask first and foremost as like a as an identifier. As you close your eyes and push and project this image of your mask towards Bannon's energy, you receive several flashes of images in your head. These images, you don't really understand what they mean. You see what appears to be a temple, a beautiful temple adorned on a forested like backdrop with grass that you've never seen before. And it looks to be like a temple of Bannon. But the second image you see is, is different. You see, you see a, vague, a vague memory of your mother's face. And then the last image is you see 
this vague memory that you don't that like is now coming back to you from when you were very little but it's a memory of the person of someone putting the mask that you wear every day onto your face and as their hand moves away from your eyes as they put the mask on your face you see Goro staring back at you and in that moment you realize that so long as you are wearing your mask while confronting Tenkai you'll be safe do not let Tenkai remove your mask is what you feel Bannon is saying to you okay I think I think Bannon I'm imagining I was turned away from from Tenkai because I was like walking mm-hmm. away um I turn back walk back towards Tenkai but I I keep some distance from me and and the table and I'm still standing Tenkai lets out a long <sighs> sigh as he stands again and whisks away the table he begins to pace in front of you so first you will not sit but I am grateful that you did not uh, leap off this mountain. <sighs> so, Zaba. You said you had things to, to, to speak with me. Will you not yes. speak them? Well, I guess I'm curious. I guess I'm curious about why you and those two other mortals continue to Chase after me. I'm quite curious about why. I mean, you've already done the world the best service you could have. You set me free, and I spared your lives. Like your view viewpoint is quite limited. You're you're quite. You 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 can't think of a single reason why we might why we might follow you. I mean, all I'm trying to do is reunite the world under one god, me. And with it, do something anew. I can't say you make very easy converts. Well, what if I told you that if you were to let me possess your body and let your body become my mortal vessel, I could give you power. Is that, is that, is that the most you can offer? Power. I can give you power, and most importantly, with that power, you could find your mother. You really don't understand me at all, do you? Go ahead and explain yourself, young guardian. We have all the time in the world. Must I? It seems like I have the power in this situation here, because I could very easily jump off this mountain here. Hmm. And then where would we be? Well, let's just say I would become very aggravated. And let's be honest, you probably wouldn't find a way out of this place before I found you. And all of a sudden, his slowly, he begins to uh, shift and warp and grow. And from basically atop this mountain, he transforms back into Tankai. There, doesn't that feel better? Listen, Zaba, you might be Bannon's chosen, but Bannon doesn't have that much power. Sooner or later, I will have consumed the rest of the gods' powers, and then there will be no gods to grant you gifts. Soon, there will only be me. Soon, but not now. So what are my choices here? You say, I run, and we go on a long, we, have, we must go on a long chase, I guess, hide and seek, cat and mouse in the spirit worlds. You claim that I would never find my way out. And the other option you provide me, become a vessel. Are there no, there are no other options here. That's just, those are the the only two here. (laughs) Yes, those are your only two options, Zaba. But you claim that there would be some, some bartering here as a vessel. So is this a partnership? Or is this, is this I bec- that I, um, I cease to exist past this point? From up here, you will get to watch as I, 
inhabiting your body, complete the undoing of the ritual that was done a thousand years ago. With the help of your friends, no doubt. So, walk me through this. What would happen? What would happen? We would shake on it, mm -hmm. agree, a transfer of power, and then I would disappear. And from up here, you could stare down at the clouds and see the world through, well, your eyes, but now through my lens. As I go about, as you. Something tells me that there's more to this. We have all the time in the world here, don't we? That we do. Until your mortal body wanes and deteriorates from the poison surging through it, yes. And you have all the time in the world too. Yes, I do. Walk me through through your plan here. Or at least, you think that people will follow you? People already do. Really? Mm-hmm. Haven't seen much of your presence. It's because you're on the wrong side of the continent. Hmm. Now, why do you need me and not someone on your side of the continent? I'm sure there would be many, many willing people to touch you. To get this, this, this sickness of the spirit? To that you are correct. But there is only one chosen of Bannon. You've only survived this long because you were blessed by Bannon at birth. Most people, the sickness takes them within a day. Less than. But you, it's been days. It's been days since our encounter up in the sky. After I destroyed Mitra's temple. The god of beasts imparted you something when you were born. And I want that. After Tankai says that, we're going to fade on over to Driftwood, Ernie, and Sidon, who are standing inside of the cell that Driftwood has broken their hands in, Sidon has busted the chains out of, and that Ernie is standing in. What do the three of you do? Uh, I feel like last time we were here, Ernie was taking charge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ernie. Oh, yes. Ernie, you had, you had asked Sidon to uh, direct you all to the to the tower, right? Yes, to where we thought that we saw Zaba going to. Okay, cool. Driftwood and Ernie, roll me d20s. Sheesh. I gotta roll a d20 for Sidon. Ha. Got a five. Fifteen. As the three of you race towards the sort of castle palace to climb up the, 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 the tower, there's certainly combat that happens along the way. It would be a lot of people to have to fight through. So, Ernie, uh, the setback that you face is you're going to take two points of damage and you're going to lose your armor as your armor oh, gets destroyed um, as you fight off basically everyone. Uh, like, as, as you and Sidon basically fight off everyone to protect Driftwood as you, like, barrage your way through this, this palace. Okay, so I also lose the bonus I had for the... Uh... Correct. Okay. Yeah. The the two damage is is, is before that bonus. Um yeah. Sidon on the other hand got a tough choice and uh he's just going to expend basically he's gonna lose all of his action points in order to succeed in um protecting Driftwood. So that's what he's gonna do. So the two of you basically fight back to back with Driftwood in the middle <laughs> with broken hands. Uh through like these corridors and through these uh, and and through the palace, but unfortunately, well, fortunately for for Driftwood, uh, you are unscathed um, because Ernie and Sidon have protected you as you fought your way through the palace, um, and the three of you arrive now at sort of the there's two there's two hallways you can go down. You can go left or you can go right. Which one do you do? Sidon at this point says, "I don't remember which." Way to go. Oh, you don't. I don't. One goes to the throne room, the other goes to the tower, and I don't know which one's which anymore. I am really, really exhausted. You've had a, and he, you've like, had a long day. Yeah, he like rubs his face and just smears like blood over his face. And oh, he's like, oh, gross. Oh. He's like I would give, I would, covered I would, in. I look for something, something to give him, like clothing and everything I have is covered in blood too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally everything is just ruined. Uh, you from from this hallway behind, you do hear the guards, more guards coming. 
So yeah, throne room. One way is the throne room. The other way is the tower. Let's go left. Left? Yes. <laughs> you chose wrong. <laughs> the three of you burst into the throne room. The three of you see an elderly king on a, on a throne, withered by time, almost like a statue sitting there. There are guards everywhere. And there are, there are what appear to be like diplomats, uh, not diplomats, but like rich people, lots of rich people, lots of wealthy citizens of this city. Any hors d'oeuvres? Hors uh, d'oeuvres? Uh, what? Hors d'oeuvres? Some, <laughs> Some snacks? Um, oh, yeah, there's like snacks and there's <laughs> wine. Um, and most, impo- most unfortunately, Jack is in this room. Oh, oh shit. Jackie boy. Hi, Jackie boy. Jack, Again, is there Jack, any- Yeah, Jack there stops and looks at the three of you. Um, I grab a sand- a tiny sandwich off a tray. Would you say you that this sandwich. room is full of commoners? <laughs> yes, I would say this room is full of commoners. Okay. I want to cast sleep. Um, okay. So it's an alteration spell for two AP. Um, you whisper a brief lullaby, putting any number of nearby commoners to sleep for up to an hour. You can write your own lullaby or borrow one from another author. Read it at the table. Is it commoners and minions or just commoners? It just says commoners. Okay. So go ahead and sing me the lullaby or read me the lullaby. So um, it's, (laughs) this is like a room. How big is this room? (laughs) It's like a hundred foot, 150 foot something room. There's like, there's like a lot of people. There's a lot of people. Uh, (laughs) Um. All right, so we burst into this room, and I'm sure everyone's like stunned silent. Um, and Driftwood has like broken hands, and like you hear someone like cough in the silence, like. <laughs> and Driftwood starts, sleep, sleep as easy as the waves of Noro. You won't awaken till tomorrow. But I'm like yelling it. So yeah. I was like, sleep, sleep, <laughs> sleep until tomorrow. Ernie's eating snacks in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ernie, as you grab uh, a second sandwich, the servants, the rich people, the advisors all collapse. Even this king who looked already quite like frail and non-moving closes his eyes. And everyone except for a handful of guards and Jack. The king is a commoner. <laughs> yes. The stat block I'm using, yes. <laughs> uh, um, they are the only ones left awake. Are there any swords on the ground? Yeah. Y- there's lots of weapons hanging on walls. Okay, can I grab something like javelin-like and try and throw it at Jack to distract him? Yeah, roll me a d20. Oh, okay, sixteen. Okay, yeah, you grab a you you grab like a like a halberd off of um like one of like like the you know standing suits of armor decorations, and you hurl it like a spear at Jack. Catch this! Are you this. trying to? Um, you the halberd pierces Jack in the shoulder. Oh, and he howls in pain as he rips the halberd out of his shoulder. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go right. We're supposed to go right. Right was the right direction. <laughs> Sidon um, grabs the two doors and he shoves the two of you out and he says, I'll catch up. You know where to go. It's clearly right. <gasps> Sidon. What the heck? We'll, we'll, we'll meet up with him later. <laughs> okay. Sidon's just fucking dead. <laughs> the two of you go ahead and uh, roll me d20s again as you race towards the tower. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my, I need it. I can need it. I got loaded dice. I got 20 this time. 17. Loaded, loaded 17. Dice. Okay. Sidon bought you all enough time with his distraction. You notice <laughs> that as you run right, as you look behind you, you see guards going left back towards the throne room. You know it's going to be a pretty bloody fight for Sidon. Um, what? But Sidon there's not fight? enough time to, to react as the two of you begin to climb the tower. Ernie, as uh, you begin to climb the tower, you manage to, the two of you arrive at the top. You see Zaba suspended upside down, floating. And across the room is 
Atreus, the, the, the court sorcerer, the brother of the king. And he is, uh, he has his eyes closed and he is chanting in the Bayani dialect. Driftwood, you recognize this. Um, you realize that he is inducing a sort of trance on Zaba. And Ernie, there's two things, two peculiar things you notice. One, there's windows up here. Two, that uh, Zaba uh, is bleeding. Zaba's bleeding quite a bit out of their arm from where they were wounded. The wound that had kind of sealed over and was kind of charred is now oozing a sort of like, like, like dark red muck. It's really, really disgusting. Uh, something's not right. And because you rolled a triumph, you get one free action. So there's windows. There's, there's no one windows. else in the room except for Zaba and this fucker. Over it is Atreus. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that, that's his name. Atreus. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I get. I feel like I get a sense that snapping Zaba out of the trance immediately maybe not the best idea. Okay. Um, his eyes are closed. So, is there anything I can kind of just like hide behind? No, right. I'm trying to um, see if I can like- sneak, sneak up behind this per- Atreus. I mean, with your triumph, you can just automatically sneak up behind him. Okay, I'm just going to chill behind a tree. Why? <laughs> <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. While, while a tree's eyes are closed, can I steal anything from... Yeah, go ahead. Roll me a 20-sided die. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to try to pickpocket this. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Zaba whispers in their <laughs> subconscious. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> wait, wait. You're, you're going to try and pickpocket Atreus? Yeah, I want to disarm okay. this guy. What'd you get? A 14. <laughs> a 14, that is a success. Why do I keep really success? <laughs> okay. Does he not have anything to pickpocket? Um, okay, so as you rifle through <laughs> Atreus' belongings, <laughs> uh, like you find it in his pocket is a ring. And the ring, the ring calls to you. Oh. Only a twenty-sided <laughs> die, Zaba. Ooh. Um. Or not Zaba. Uh, 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 Ernie, Ernie, Ernie. 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 Roll me a twenty-sided die, Ernie. No! <laughs> At some point during this, um, kid, does my sense magic kick in? Uh, yeah. You sense a ton of magic. There's a lot of magic in this room. Drew. I don't Ooh. think my success is gonna keep hold up for me in this fourth roll. I'm like shaking really hard, so I don't like. Yeah, maybe a five. <laughs> All right. It's mine, precious. You grab for the ring, and it's at that moment that Atreus's eyes open and he grabs your wrist and gazes directly into your eyes. Oh, we, we love it here. Oh, yeah. fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. You feel Atreus reach into your mind and pull out your ideal and your flaw. Oh, Come fucking on. chorus. Go ahead and say that out loud. Okay, let me grab it. Okay, honor. Um, and then I think the second was I'm oblivious. You're oblivious. Oh, that's your flaw. Atreus smiles and says, finally, I can give Jack the war he wants. And all of a can sudden- I any- No, I can't do anything to react, huh? Uh, you, you can react right now. You can try. Can I punch him in the face? <laughs> Roll me a d20. I don't like it. That Drifted, when you what are you doing like now that. that Ernie's been caught? I don't. Huh. So I don't like it either. I rolled so a seven. No, I rolled a natural one. Never mind. You go, Driftwood. Uh, so dr- what Driftwood is seeing right now is Atreus looking into uh, Ernie's eyes and then grabbing their arm. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, so, so I just got sense magic. So, and you said this room is full of magic. Mm-hmm. So I assume it's affecting Driftwood in a certain way. Like it's either dizzying or like overwhelming with the amount of magic in this room. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. uh, is is Atreus still speaking, like casting in Bayali? Uh, no, this was in the common tongue. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. is there a way like I can trace the magic that is, is Atreus currently casting on, um, Zaba 
that is what you sense and you sense that at that at that particular moment he's no longer casting whatever he was casting on zaba okay but zaba is still slung up like floating and is still unconscious okay and um atreus is currently casting on ernie right now now right okay oh sh- okay so detecting this um S- S- spidey senses on driftwood's um on driftwood's neck driftwood tries to do like how high how high is this um is zaba like floating like maybe like four feet off the ground okay okay <laughs> great so uh driftwood kind of like does a pretty like average leap to zaba to kind of wake them up like with their whole body okay we will let, i'm gonna let's i'm gonna cut back over to zaba real quick okay and, and then ernie we will resolve the catastrophe after this <laughs> so zaba mm-hmm. uh, you and tank kai are staring mm-hmm. at each other and as tank kai finished that last sentence you feel a slight tingle and you get a sense that you have your magic back oh okay i don't know what good that'll do me but i don't have shit <laughs> Turn it to bird. <laughs> Turn it to bird. <laughs> <laughs> Tenkai eats you. Um. Tenkai says to you to follow all this up. Don't get any wise ideas. My servant's suppression magic may have maybe gone, but don't get any wise ideas about what you can do here with me now. Oh. Does that give me like a clue that like maybe like Ernie and Driftwood are doing things? Yeah. It gives cool. you a clue that something is wrong on the outside and that something's happening out of your control, but Okay. Yeah. Well, um well at Tang Hai, it seems like our time may be running short here. Tick tock, tick tock. Is there anything else you can you can offer me besides power and information about my mother is this merely is must this merely be a a one-sided exchange of a vessel tick tock tick tock what do you mean do you want to offer me something in return besides your body (laughs) no (laughs) i want to have i want to have more control than just being up here floating in the sky while you you gallivant below supposedly Charming, like my companions, though I think you'll make a mess of things, really. <sighs> tick tock, tick tock. You are a foolish guardian. You are a foolish guardian, same as the rest of them. So be it. And he opens his maw and goes to attack you. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, <laughs> can I, can I, um, can I cast wolf on myself and like fucking, fucking jump off the mountain or? Yeah, you can jump off the mountain. Yeah. I, I okay. Um, I jump off the mountain. Yep. Yeah. You cast wild aspect wolf, and much to your surprise, instead of in, in, instead of it just like giving you the sense that you have wolf ears and a wolf tail or something you actually transform into a wolf and you run and you jump and when you jump that's when you transform back into zaba and you begin to free fall through the clouds roll me a 20-sided die as tankai soars after you don't don't give me a fucking one please don't give me a goddamn one well it's not a it's not a win for me (laughs) it's a 10 it's a 10. So this is this is the set piece. Zaba, you've run and you're falling off of the mountain. And as you score through the clouds, you look around and you realize you are miles above the continent of Myrios. This is the mountain that you can see from all angles of your journeys. This is Mount Ida that you just jumped off of. And you see below you the great desert. And around the mountain, you see the real body of Tang Kai twisted around it, sleeping during during this evening. And as you fall, and as Tang Kai's spirit chases after you, 
through this, through what is becoming a lightning storm. You see two portals open up, bet- open up in front of you. They're, they're very starry-eyed, both of the portals. So you don't know which one is which. You can only pick left or right. Which portal do you fall through? Right. Zaba, you plunge through the, wor- through the right portal and it closes behind you, severing your connection from Tankai. But you chose the wrong portal. You awaken under heavy water. You feel yourself drifting in the ocean. You feel yourself being swallowed by a maelstrom. And things go hazy. Uh, As we fade back over to the catastrophe that happens. Driftwood, you are on Zaba, and you feel Zaba's body start to go cold and start to sweat, almost like Zaba has developed a fever. Um, You get a sense that whatever is happening to Zaba, it's not good. Not good at all. Um, But it's at that moment that Ernie, this is your severe setback as you go to punch Atreus. Atreus Atreus shouts. He utters a word in the Bayani language that sounds something akin to break. And there is a clap of thunder and all of your ears begin to ring. And Ernie, as he casts this on your arm, you hear the last thing you feel is your arm breaking before you black out. Driftwood, you and Zaba are knocked back. Both of you take two points of damage. Um, Ouch. Yeah. And Zaba, you are still unconscious. Driftwood, you are dazed. You cannot use any abilities on your next turn. As Atreus casts aside the limp Ernie, and turns to face you. (laughs) This is bad. (laughs) Oh, gee. No, 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 no. Dyson Pizza is Maya Worrell as Zaba, Justin Rickefort as Driftwood, Kyla Worrell as Ernie, and myself, Derek Aiello, as The Guide. Cover art is by Gene Young. Music is by Itamar Ben Zimra, with additional sound design and sound effects by Brian Kim. This episode is part one of two, our first two-parter episode, and we left it on that note. But don't worry, we'll be right back with part two on February 7th, so stay tuned. As usual, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Dyson Pizza for updates on the show, and you can check out the video or audio version of this on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. We also love Apple reviews, and leave us one if you like the show. It would really help us out a lot. Thank you all for listening, and we'll see you next time.